I'm David Murphy, and I just got pumped. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Oh. <laughs> How's it feel? I'm stuck on this boat forever. <laughs> and we're shooting. What happened? I shoot it. Stuck on the bus forever. <laughs> I can't get my shoe off. I can't untie it. Got some jokesters on this team. <laughs> Who did it? Chris Wallace. Did it. Bunch of jokesters, man. Can't even get some sleep on the bus without getting your shoe tied to the chair. It's ridiculous. Well, I got punked yeah. jumping somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say it. What's your name? I'm Chris Wallace, and I got punked. <laughs> it pretty sucks getting punked when you're trying to punk. It pretty sucks. <laughs> pretty sucks. <laughs> what I said? Pretty, it pretty sucks. Uh, pretty sucks. <laughs> On our way through to San Francisco, we stopped at Stanford to get a quick lift in. Have you enjoyed the trip thus far? You can put your hands down, sir. Um, no, sir, my hands. You can put your hands down just by your side. That'll be okay. Murph. What's up, man? How'd that Stanford University workout go? That's what's up, man. That's where it's at. That's where it's at? Oh, yeah. baby. <laughs> Good workout, huh? Oh, yeah. Can you, like, you ready to get to San Francisco? Let's go, man. Just finished our workout. Everybody take your shirts off and flex. <laughs> it's uh, Monday. We're hanging out in San Francisco, getting some lunch right now. We've got practice tonight. We play the University of San Francisco tomorrow. And uh, we've got what seems to be a homeless man inside of a trash can. That right there is Alcatraz. Only two people that ever escaped from Alcatraz. Clint, East, Clint Eastwood and Sean Connery. Oh, yeah. I don't know if most of y'all watched the game, maybe listened to the game, or at least saw the box score of the game yesterday, but um, I'm going to have to attribute the win to this guy right here. No, he didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, well, well, tell us a little bit. I mean, what, what exactly were your statistics last night? Uh, I just... It's just another day at the park, but I did hit a Mammo bomb. Mammo bomb, ladies and gentlemen. That put us ahead by what, two, three? Uh, yeah, three, I believe. Just kind of sealed the deal. Gave yeah. us a little extra cushion. Well, basically what happened was it was a nail-biter game. Cal Berkeley came back on us, tied it up, and we went into extra innings. This guy stepped into the box in the bottom of the what, 11th or 12th? The 11th. Bottom of the 11th, and just hit it to the mountains and put us ahead and uh yeah just i mean just just tell us a little bit how you feel about it it's got to be exciting i mean one of the biggest things i'm shocked about is just the fact that you pulled the ball yeah. <laughs> well you know i figured uh, being in san francisco you know i just wanted to give my best barry bonds invitation so exactly what better way to go out of here than Know, just pull a home run. Yeah, in the you, Bay of San Francisco. You look just like Barry Bonds out there. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I mean, it was uh. From the moment we got here, we passed the Giant Stadium, the Covey Cove, and so the whole time we're here, I'm just thinking like, man, I just want to hit like Bonds. Yeah. So it's basically just that was my approach going into the at bat was just to hit a home run. Yeah. Well, you definitely showed us a little bit of that Bonds mentality. It's been a pretty long day. <clears throat> Woke up this morning and worked out. Got on the plane, flew here. 
got to relax in the hotel for about an hour or so, two hours or so. And now we're off to practice. And we're just now pulling up to the campus of Arizona State. And uh, <clears throat> we're pretty excited about the weekend.